What up, everybody? Uh, we're just gonna go over the patch notes real quick for 1.4 for the division, cause why not? So as you can tell, the overview doesn't tell you much. New features, world tier, uh, field proficiency, game changes, skill rebalancing, style rebalancing, gear balance uh, changes, skills have been reworked, uh, <laughs> signature skills have been revoked. Or we reworked my bad sorry about that uh, extensive changes have been made to gear stats extensive changes have been made to weapons extensive changes have been made to gear what does that mean what changes what happened so here we go new features world tier upon uh, reaching level 30 players are now able to select a world tier that controls the level of enemies NPCs encountered and the quality of loot they drop. That's kind of interesting. There are a total of four world tiers. Tier 1 enemy level 30 gear score rewards 163. Tier 2 enemy uh, level 131 gear score rewards 182 unlocks challenge mode and incursions. Tier 3 enemy level 32 gear score rewards 204 and tier 4 enemy level 33 gear score rewards 229. That sounds really cool to me. I'm kind of happy with that. Uh, field proficiency. Pro, field proficiency. Sorry, there's a dog barking. He's barking at a bird or something. They're going back and forth. Uh, players can now gain experience past level 30 and continue to level up and earn loot caches. That's pretty cool. I'm here for that. That sounds interesting. And I like the world tiers because I was tired of getting like 163 guns and whatnot. But I need like 204 guns. I couldn't even run incursions by myself or with a group of four. Tried three and tried four, couldn't do it. Tried randoms, couldn't get past where I get with my friends. Uh, general changes, gameplay changes. Roam, roaming named NPCs, Bullet King will now spawn throughout Manhattan. The group respawns every four hours after the name Elite has been killed. That's kind of cool. Uh, damage per second. Calculations now ignore magazine side and reload speed, accuracy, and headshot damage. Interesting. Uh, time to kill enemy NPCs have been lowered. Mm. Weekly assignment loot caches now drop items scaled with the player's current gear score. That's kind of cool. Added 40 new high value target contact contracts to the con to the contract pool. Pool. Uh, rogue players are now shown on the mini map. I'm here for all this. Challenge difficulty missions will now reward extra rewards. First time completions. That's kind of neat. Uh, player health now fully regenerates. All segments went out of combat. Sounds good. Never was a big deal for me. Oh, cool. Player ammo ca capacity has been increased after level 30. Gear set score. Gear set gear scores have been brought in line with high end gear scores, tiers. Had a delay between leaving a group and signing up for matchmaking. That's nice. When matchmaking, the game will now attempt to refill empty slots if the group privacy allows it. Don't play with random, so not for me, but cool. Uh, weapon magazines are now refilled when restocking from ammo crate. That's nice. Uh, decrease the delay before mobile cover bonuses protections are applied to player and after deployment. <clears throat> um, players now have the mark as junk option when equipping mods. That's cool, but never was an issue for me. Uh, players can now mark weapon and gear items as favorites, which locks them in their inventory. Locked cannot be sold. Oh, so that's cool. You can't do dumb. You can't make a big mistake and feel terrible about yourself if you sell your stuff. Uh, added a buyback option to vendors' inventory. Players can now recover items they had accidentally sold. That's cool. 
Weapon skins no longer take inventory space. Uh, equipped items are now always displayed as the top of the inventory list. That's cool. Uh, recalib recalibrated items now have an icon displayed next to their recalibrated stat slash talent. Crafting materials can now be converted in bulk at the crafting station. That's cool. The crafting material drops from the base of operations will now reward high-end quality after level 30 so that's cool you get uh, orange from the base of operations added a recalibration station in the terminal player talent chain reactions decrease damage by bonus by 50% from 40 to 20 okay uh, I don't understand that, but okay. Uh, skill power from electronics has been multiplied by three. Bonus skill power from gear is untouched. Remove scavenging secondary stat on all gear pieces. New gear pieces can no longer roll scavenging. Thank you. I hope they get rid of... Oh, no, no. Never mind. I take that back, but still cool. Uh... Incinerary and explosive downs will no longer apply status effects like stagger and on fire. What? Then what's the point of having them? Uh, player talent, demolition expert, explosive damage buff decreased by 50%. Players are now downed instead of killed when taking lethal damage in solo play. That nice thank you very much while support station is active thank you thank you thank you that always triggered me uh, leaving a group while in a mission will now currently place the player in front of the mission grouping while inside the base of operations will no longer place the player in front of the base of operations that's nice player grenade damage now scales when with the current world tier to ensure Consistent efficiency against NPCs across world tiers. Uh, shotgunner NPCs, their damage fall off and accuracy have been slightly reduced. Okay. This should limit their range and lower their lethal in long to mid range combat. Uh, several improvements to NPC AI. General bugs, uh, fixed bug where some players would become stuck on ladders after sprinting. That's nice, that happened to me a couple times. Proof overall uh, stability and performance on Xbox One. Fixed bug where the named NPCs in Hudson Refugee Camp would not leave the spawn area, making the mission impossible to complete. Feel bad for you if you had that bug. Fix a bug where the player's character would remain stuck while using the calibration table. Never happened to me. Uh, fix a bug where shooting the weak spots on the Rikers take NPC arch type would have no effect. Fix a bug where the HVT mission Golf Squad would not spawn the correct NPC type for final boss. That's triggering. Fix the bug where main missions would not start properly. Fix the bug where some settings would reset to font when the game is restarted. Underground bug fixes. Fix the bug where lowering the gear score would cause players to respawn while in underground operations instead of failing the mission. Fix the bug where NPCs could shoot players through doors while they are being opened. That's triggering. Fix the bug where the toxic talent on a equipped weapon would trigger on the player while under in the influence of sickness directive. Fix the bug where underground directives would not clear correctly after a player left their group. Okay, I'm getting tired of reading. Uh, skill bugs, talent. So basically, they fixed a whole bunch of bugs. Uh, skill changes. Global change skill power will not scale linear, linearly anymore. Instead, it will follow a curve of 
diminishing returns, removed hard caps on most skills. Uh, expected skill power is now three times higher. Skill power from electronics has been multiplied by three. First aid. Global changes. All cooldowns set to 60 seconds. I don't know if I like that. Decreased scaling of cooldown with skill power from 100 to 70. Base skill. Uh, healing cap increased by 300% up to the big number. <laughs> uh, self heal increased by 81% from 550 to 1000. LA heal increased by 81%. So same thing. Defibrillator will now revive teammates from downstate. Self heal increased by 36 from 550. 750 ally heal increased by 172 from 550 to uh, 1500 overdose. Uh, self heal increased by 100% from 750 to 1050. <coughs> ally heal unchanged at 1750. Booster shot. Self heal increased by. Uh, 105% from 440 to 900. LA increased by 50% from 600 to 900. Pulse global changes. Decreased. Uh, uh, I don't use pulse, but you might use pulse. Decreased. Decreased scaling of critical hit chance with skill power from 100% to 50%. Decreased scaling of critical hit damage with skill power from 100% to 50%. Uh, Decreased scaling of cooldown with skill power from 100% to 80%. Base skill and mods critical hit chances set to 6%. Uh, base skill critical hit damage decreased by 70% from 20 to 6. Uh, damage also critical hit damage. Uh, they took down all the critical hit damage to 6%. Critical hit crit damage decreased by 60 from 25 to 10. Cooldown decreased 15% from 70 to 60 seconds. Turret, this is gonna affect me. Decreased scaling of cooldown with, from 100 to 80. Uh, base skill on all mods except Zapper. Health increased by 50%. Cool. From uh, 1000 to 1500. Basically, uh, mods increased by 50% from 30 seconds to 45 seconds. Scaling of health will skill power set to 200%. Base skill range increased from 17% uh, <clears throat> from 30 to 35 meters. Active sensory. Uh, range increased by 17%. Damage increased by 22%. Dead Dragon damage increased by 22%. Zapper, which is the one a lot of people like to use. Range decreased by 20%. Uh, decreased. So they debuffed the Zapper. Support Station. Uh, base skill on all mods except life support. Healing rate increased by 67% from 30 to 50. Uh, almost... Um, the lifetime decreased by 50% from 30 from 30 to 20 seconds. Uh, health increase from 100%. So you're up to 1,000. Uh, base skill. All mods no longer have healing rate cap. Base skill. All mods no longer have lifetime cap. Of support revive all uh, revive time decreased by 40% from 5 to 3 seconds, range increased by 33% from 6 to 8 meters, healing rate increased by uh, 100%. Ammo cache healing rate, uh, health rate increased to same level as other mods from 24 to 30, 25% increase. Uh, immunizer lifetime decreased by 33 from 24 to 16 seconds. Sticky bomb no longer have damage cap. All mods uh, scaling down 
The scaling of damage with skill power is set to 125%. Scaling of cooldown with skill power is set to 80%. Uh, cooling down increased by 80% from 50 to 90 seconds, 50 to 90 seconds. Uh, explosion range decreases by 25%. Cool damage, cool down increased by 80%. Mobile cover, no longer have health, no longer have cooldown cap. Blast shield, minimax damage now scale with skill power. Minimax damage now displayed in tooltip. Uh, blast resistance increased by 180%. Uh, countermeasures health increased by 33%. Secret mine, uh, no health cap, no cooldown cap. Except cluster health increased by 100%. Uh, except gas, gas chart change, cooldown decreased by 29%. Uh, scaling cooldown. Skill power is set to 80, base skill damage increased by 100%, damage increased by 100%, uh, radius increased by 25%, cluster applies bleed effect on top of usual damage, uh, ballistic shield, smart cover, recovery line, that's enough of skills, gear changes, remove skill bonus from all gear items. Instead, backpack holster and knee pads will now have additional slots dedicated to performance mods. Not that this change will not be retroactive. Gear items of gear score 182 and higher will now provide fixed base stats in each of so now we go like farms and Sandman and whatnot. Alright, I just wanna play now, so I'm gonna go play on Twitch. Peace!